everybody, it's Lori from Pizzazz Studios. Hope you are doing well today. So I'm gonna do something a little new today. I have these little butterflies and um, it looks like this. It's just a little wooden butterfly that you can get at the dollar store. Turn it around so you can see it. Um, so they come in like, I don't know, a pack of 10, I think. Obviously they're very cheap. So I'm gonna try this and see how it comes out. These are kind of, um, they're just thin wood, um, but I thought they were kind of cool because you can um, add stuff to the back of it if you want, or you can uh, use this to embellish something else, but you could easily stick a magnet on the back and, and have a, uh, a pretty magnet for your refrigerator or um, give them as gifts or whatever you want to do with them. So there's lots of options that you can do with these. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I have my... Uh, white house paint here i'm gonna go ahead and put some on here i'll have all the um, in the description box below i'll have all the paints that i'm using so that you can refer to it so these are pretty small i actually didn't measure it but it's only it's probably maybe like three inches or so Maybe a little smaller, maybe like two and a half or something, but anyway, it's just a wooden cutout that they got at the dollar store. But there's all sorts of things you can paint on. So whatever floats your boat. Anything you see that you go, ooh, I think I'd like to paint on that, you should probably go paint on that. <laughs> Okay, so I got some colors here in front of me. Um, I'm gonna add, I got a black cell activator as well, so I'm gonna use that. He's pretty little, so we'll see. I'm hoping the whole thing gets covered with some pretty cells. I have a lot of colors, so that's a pink light magenta this is a primary elements art pigment and it's called sunflower pigment and it's called sunflower look at that one wow that's pretty this is very very iridescent very shimmery okay so then the next one i have uh this is primary yellow whoops a little bit more than I probably wanted but that's okay and this one here is just orange there's a lot of paint on here <laughs> Oh well, this is um, copper. And gold, the 24 karat gold from DecoArt. My opinion with butterfly wings, uh, the more shimmer, the better. <laughs> Now I have a couple of air bubbles here. I'm just gonna pop them real quick with my toothpick. This will probably be a short and sweet little video because it's so tiny. Lay this down, blow it out, excuse my head. I was hoping to get the paint up there a little bit more, but I'm hoping when it spins out, it'll do that for me. I'm going to let this sit a minute. I'm going to get this paint to come back into the center. There's some pretty cells there. Those of you missed any spots too, you can always go over that um, with your finger or a 
paint brush or whatever you'd like to do. Oh, these are really pretty. Let me give you um, a close up. Let's zoom in here. Give you a nice close look. Isn't that pretty? The cells are really pretty. We're gonna let it sit just another second here. And then we'll spin them. See what we get. Okay. Bone looks pretty good. Wow, really pretty. All right, so I think I'm gonna add just a dab of paint on the tips of these. So this will help the paint flow this way a little bit, I'm hoping. And maybe we'll get a little more coverage here. I was kind of surprised because I felt like I put a ton of paint on there, but. You know what too though, I also realized I did not prime the, the butterfly first. It was so small. I mean, you might probably have better luck if you, um, just throw down a coat of white paint, let it dry first or something, or some gesso or something, and give it a priming first before. That might make it um, flow a little bit easier, but this is fine for me, for my purposes. All right, so let's see. Starting to spread out a little bit. So you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I am going to, I'm gonna put down some of this color here and see if I can add to it a little bit. Not too too worried about these here but I do want some color up there so I'm gonna add a bit of this and do the same thing there this is a little bit of copper and then some gold there we go now I'll add a little bit of black. Well, that's pretty. Trying to get it look more blended so that it doesn't look like it stands out too much. Do this side. Pretty. Sounds better than all that white, huh? <laughs> Just gonna put a little dot on each one here yeah, and blow this out real quick. Whew, there we go. A lot of the gold is coming up from underneath. <laughs> Looks pretty. Wow, that's better, I like it. 
It looks good. I'm just doing the edges because there's just a tiny rim around the edges. So I thought I would just make sure they were all covered on the sides. So it would look more finished. I'm gonna use my toothpick here. I wanna try to get a little bit here covered on the edge. I'm not sure, it's not really covering here, unless that's the cup, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna adjust this just a tad so I can see better. So there's a little bit of like a, a white edge there that I'm not too fond of. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a tad of the orange with my toothpick and just sort of dab it on there. It'll help fill that in a little bit. That's better. I'm gonna add just a little bit here as well. Kind of like just fine tuning. Funny. Sometimes you just need to learn to leave things alone. <laughs> it's pretty though. I'm just, I'm just being funny. Um, because when I blew on that, a little bit of the white came up again. So he looks pretty awesome, or she. <laughs> just gonna wipe off the bottom, a little bit underneath here. I want to. Uh, don't want it to continue dripping on me. Of course, you can paint the back a solid color or whatever you want to do if you care about what the back looks like afterwards, depending on what you're doing with it. But this came out really pretty, really, really pretty. Um, the iridescence from that sunflower color and the, um, the gold, of course, is really pretty. Okay, this is really cute. I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to zoom in and give you a close-up, but maybe I can just pick it up. I'm not sure if you can see it because I can't see the phone. So he's really pretty. I'm going to zoom in anyway and show you just in case that did not come out. <laughs> One second here. Over to my phone. Boy, I just realizing I hope this was not out of range here in the cameras oh, the whole time. Gosh, I hope not. Well, I hope it's still a good video. If it's still okay, I'll still upload it. And hopefully you'll get to see this. And if not, I will do another one. I'll probably do more of these anyway. Look how pretty. It has quite the sparkle and shimmer to it. This is really pretty. Wow, I do like this. I like this a lot. Too bad he wasn't a little bigger. <laughs> well, okay, so that's for today. What I got for you. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the uh, like button. I'd appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is or wherever you are that you're watching this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.